Max Verstappen as well, that we can just see in the background. What can he do from fourth place with two Ferraris between himself and his teammates? Well, it's going to be interesting to see because it's going to be difficult to warm these times. The first two laps are going to be key. You're going to see the cars moving around a lot. That's why they're doing quite a few burnout here, burnouts here to, to get that tyre temperature, to give them a bit more confidence, which they'll need through those high-speed corners on lap one and two. And it was a race against time in the Ferrari garage to get Carlos Sainz out onto the track. They had an issue with the uh, wiring loom in the car. They were working on it for about 45 minutes. Uh, I did say, was Lewis Hamilton going to hang back a little bit? Uh, well, he's still making his way to the grid, and Sergio Perez has been sat there for a while. Yeah, I think he's, he's making sure he's got enough of a gap so he can prepare his tyres as he's been told to do by the team. So he's nice and ready for when the lights go out. There is only a 230 metre run from pole down to the first braking zone. It's the first official pole for Sergio Perez since his GP2 days at Valencia in 2010. How's he gonna fare? Here we are in Jena then. It's lights out and away we go, Perez. Come on, Luis! Come on, Luis! Carlos Sainz is forced to the outside. Max Verstappen getting keen on the inside. And with Carlos Sainz, but Perez leads him through the first corner. From the Claire Verstappen getting past Carlos Sainz. That's a great start for, for Perez. Um, great start by Max as well. That's such an important move to get Carlos off the line. He's only got to worry about one Ferrari in front, but some great moves out of it. Kevin's move. That was a brave one. Good and race. he might have needed to do it as well. Got himself ahead of Pierre Gasly from 10th now up into 9th. New rules, new regulations. Easier to overtake, we're not quite sure. Certainly easier to follow out on the track. But can they follow Sergio Perez? Because he's gone through the twisty bits. They will have the pace advantage down the straights. And he'll look to get at least a second and a half advantage by the time they cross the line at the end of lap one. Yeah, the first four have been able to get their tyres up to temperature pretty quickly. The rest of the pack, not so much. And that, I think that just shows the downforce that these first four cars have. But um, yeah, this is this is really good for, for Checo at the moment. He's got a little gap. DRS obviously isn't activated yet, but uh, he wants to get a nice gap for what it is. And right behind Lewis Hamilton, Alex Albon was just looking to try to make a move. These two have made contact before in the closing stage of the course in Brazil. Albon has to stay with behind Hamilton. Perez is just about to close the distance. Of course, in Brazil, Albon has to stay behind Hamilton, who's up into 14th place as they cross the line. Sergio Perez has a one. Go, go, Lewis! Over Charles Leclerc. Then comes Max Verstappen, Carlos Sainz, and it's to Van Ockham. There's Lando Norris on the inside, getting ahead of Pierre Gasly, getting his. What a move from the outside of turn one. It wasn't quite contact with the exit turn two, but massive slide from Lando saying, I am through. I wonder if Pierre Gasly's just struggling a touch out there as well. He's been overtaken twice now since the lights out, and Gasly has got Lance Stroll all over his uh, rear uh, wing as it stands at the moment. Perez